Madeira Mdir, Mdir, Portuguese, M -edge, J, officially the Autonomous Region of Madeira, Regiao Autonoma da Madeira is one of the two autonomous regions of Portugal along with the Azores. It is an archipelago situated in the North Atlantic Ocean, southwest of Portugal. Its total population was estimated in 2011 at 267,785. The capital of Madeira is Funchal, which is located on the main island's south coast. The archipelago is just under 400 kilometers, 250 miles north of Tenerife, Canary Islands. Bermuda and Madeira, a few time zones apart, are the only land in the Atlantic on the 32nd parallel north. It includes the islands of Madeira, Porto Santo, and the Desertas, administered together with the separate archipelago of the Savage Islands. The region has political and administrative autonomy through the administrative political statue of the autonomous region of Madeira provided for in the Portuguese constitution. The autonomous region is an integral part of the European Union as an outermost region. Madeira was claimed by Portuguese sailors in the service of Prince Henry the Navigator in 1419 and settled after 1420. The archipelago is considered to be the first territorial discovery of the exploratory period of the Age of Discovery. Today, it is a popular year-round resort, being visited every year by about 1.4 million tourists, almost five times its population. The region is noted for its Madeira wine, gastronomy, historical and cultural value, flora and fauna, landscapes laurel forest, which are classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and embroidery artisans. The main harbour in Funchal has long been the leading Portuguese port in cruise liner dockings, receiving more than half a million tourists though its main port in 2017, being an important stopover for commercial and transatlantic passenger cruises between Europe, the Caribbean and North Africa. In addition, the International Business Centre of Madeira also known as the Madeira Free Trade Zone, was created formally in the 1980s as a tool of regional economic policy. It consists of a set of incentives, mainly tax-related, granted with the objective of attracting foreign direct investment based on international services into Madeira. History Exploration Plutarch in his Parallel Lives Sertorius, 75 AD, referring to the military commander Quintus Sertorius d. 72 BC, relates that after his return to Cadiz, he met sailors who spoke of idyllic Atlantic islands. The islands are said to be two in number separated by a very narrow strait and lie 10,000 furlongs from Africa. They are called the Isles of the Blessed. Archaeological evidence suggests that the islands may have been visited by the Vikings sometime between 900 and 1030. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Legend. During the reign of King Edward III of England, lovers Robert Mockeem and Anna Darfet were said to flee from England to France in 1346. They were driven off their course by a violent storm and their ship went aground along the coast of an island that may have been Madeira. Later this legend was the basis of the naming of the city of Machico, in memory of the young lovers. Discovery <inaudible> 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 Knowledge of some Atlantic islands, such as Madeira, existed before their formal discovery and settlement, as the islands were shown on maps as early as 1339. In 1418, two captains under service to Prince Henry the Navigator, João Goncalves Zarco and Tristeo Vaz Teixeira, were driven off course by a storm to an island which they named Porto Santo English, Holy Harbor, in gratitude for divine deliverance from a shipwreck. The following year, an organized expedition, under the captaincy of Zarco, Vaz Teixeira, and Bartolomeu Perestrello, traveled to the island to claim it on behalf of the Portuguese crown. Subsequently, the new settlers observed, "...a heavy black cloud suspended to the southwest." Their investigation revealed it to be the larger island they called Madeira. Settlement 
The first Portuguese settlers began colonizing the islands around 1420 or 1425, grain production began to fall and the ensuing crisis forced Henry the Navigator to order other commercial crops to be planted so that the islands could be profitable. These specialized plants, and their associated industrial technology, created one of the major revolutions on the islands and fueled Portuguese industry. Following the introduction of the first water-driven sugar mill on Madeira, sugar production increased to over 6,000 arobas an aroba was equal to 11 to 12 kilograms by 1455, using advisors from Sicily and financed by Genoese capital. Genoa acted as an integral part of the island economy until the 17th century. The accessibility of Madeira attracted Genoese and Flemish traders, who were keen to bypass Venetian monopolies. By 1480 Antwerp had some 70 ships engaged in the Madeira sugar trade, with the refining and distribution concentrated in Antwerp. By the 1490s Madeira had overtaken Cyprus as a producer of sugar. Sugarcane production was the primary engine of the island's economy, increasing the demand for labor. African slaves were used during portions of the island's history to cultivate sugar cane, and the proportion of imported slaves reached 10% of the total population of Madeira by the 16th century. Barbary corsairs from North Africa, who enslaved Europeans from ships and coastal communities throughout the Mediterranean region, captured 1,200 people in Porto Santo in 1617. After the 17th century, as Portuguese sugar production was shifted to Brazil, São Tomé and Príncipe and elsewhere, Madeira's most important commodity product became its wine. The British first amicably occupied the island in 1801 whereafter Colonel William Henry Clinton became governor. A detachment of the 85th Regiment of Foot under Lieutenant Colonel James Willoughby Gordon garrisoned the island. After the Peace of Amiens, British troops withdrew in 1802, only to reoccupy Madeira in 1807 until the end of the Peninsular War in 1814. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War I On 31 December 1916, during the Great War, a German U-boat, SMU-38, captained by Max Valentiner, entered Funchal Harbour on Madeira. U-38 torpedoed and sank three ships, bringing the war to Portugal by extension. The ships sunk were C.S. Dacia 1856 tons, a British cable-laying vessel. Dacia had previously undertaken war work off the coast of Casablanca and Dakar. It was in the process of diverting the German South American cable into Brest, France. SS Kangaroo 2493 tons, a French specialized heavy lift transport surprise 680 tons a french gunboat her commander and 34 crewmen including 7 portuguese were killed after attacking the ships u38 bombarded funchal for 2 hours from a range of about 2 miles 3 kilometers batteries on madeira returned fire and eventually forced u38 to withdraw on the 12th of december 1917 two german u-boats smu 156 and smu 157 captained by max valentiner again bombarded funchal this time the attack lasted around 30 minutes the U-boats fired 44.7 and 5.9 inch 120 and 150 millimeters shells there were three fatalities and 17 wounded, a number of houses and Santa Clara Church were hit. Charles I, Carl I, the last emperor of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, went to Madeira after the war. Determined to prevent an attempt to restore Charles to the throne, the Council of Allied Powers agreed he could go into exile on Madeira because it was isolated in the Atlantic and easily guarded. He died there on 1 April 1922 and his coffin lies in a chapel of the church in Monte. Topic. Autonomy and modern history On 1 July 1976, following the Democratic Revolution of 1974, Portugal granted political autonomy to Madeira, celebrated on Madeira Day. The region now has its own government and legislative assembly. On 20 February 2010 at least 42 people died and 100 were injured by the 2010 Madeira floods and mudslides that affected the island. Drought conditions, coupled with hot and windy weather in summer, have caused numerous wildfires in recent years. 
The largest of the fires in August 2010 burned through 95% of the Funchal Ecological Park, a 1,000 hectare preserve set aside to restore native vegetation to the island. In July 2012, Madeira was suffering again from severe drought. Wildfires broke out on the 18th of July in the midst of temperatures up to 40 degrees Celsius, more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and high winds. By the 20th of July, fires had spread to the nearby island of Porto Santo, and firefighters were sent from mainland Portugal to contain the multiple blazes. In October 2012, it was reported that there was a dengue fever epidemic on the island. There was a total of 2,168 cases reported of dengue fever since the start in October 2012. The number of cases was on the decline since mid-November 2012 and by the 4th of February 2013, no new cases had been reported. In August 2013, a hospital and some private homes were evacuated as a wildfire approached Funchal. A number of homes were destroyed when the fire hit Monte, a suburb of Funchal. In August 2016, wildfires caused over 1,000 people to be evacuated, destroyed 150 homes, and led to the death of three people, all of whom are said to have been elderly. The wildfires threatened Funchal and other administrative regions of Madeira, such as Calheta. In August 2017, a falling tree killed at least 13 people and injured 49 at a religious ceremony. People had gathered outside the Church of Our Lady of Monte in Monte, to celebrate the Roman Catholic Feast of the Assumption, which takes place on Tuesday and is a public holiday. The Lady of the Mount Festival is the island's biggest. In 2019, Madeira Island will celebrate six centuries since its formal discovery by the Portuguese. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. The archipelago of Madeira is located 520 kilometers (280 nmi) from the African coast and 1000 kilometers (540 nmi) from the European continent, approximately a one and a half hour flight from the Portuguese capital of Lisbon. Madeira is on the same parallel as Bermuda, a few time zones farther west in the Atlantic. The two archipelagos are the only land in the Atlantic on the 32nd parallel north. Madeira is found in the extreme south of the Tor Madeira Ridge, a bathymetric structure of great dimensions oriented along a north-northeast to south-southwest axis that extends for 1,000 km This submarine structure consists of long geomorphological relief that extends from the abyssal plain to 3,500 meters. Its highest submersed point is at a depth of about 150 meters around latitude 36 degrees north. The origins of the Tor Madeira Ridge are not clearly established, but may have resulted from a morphological buckling of the lithosphere. Islands and islets Madeira 740.7 square kilometers including Ilhu de Agostino, Ilhu de São Lourenço, Ilhu Mole northwest total population 262,456 2011 census Porto Santo 42.5 square kilometers including Ilhu de Bexo o da Cal, Ilhu de Ferro, Ilhu das Senoras, Ilhu de Fora, Ilhu de Chima total population 5,483 2011 census Desertas Islands 14.2 square kilometers including the three uninhabited islands Deserta Grande Island Bugio Island and Ilhu de Chao Savage Islands 3.6 square kilometers archipelago 280 kilometers south southeast of Madeira Island including three main islands and 16 uninhabited islets in two groups the northwest group Selvagem Grande Island Ilhu de Palheiro da Terra Ilhu de Palheiro do Mar and the southeast group Selvagem Pequena Island Ilhu Grande Ilhu Sul Ilhu Pequeno Ilhu Fora Ilhu Alto Ilhu Comprido Ilhu Redondo Ilhu Norte Topic. Madeira Island The island of Madeira is at the top of a massive shield volcano that rises about 6 km feet from the floor of the Atlantic Ocean, on the Tor underwater mountain range. The volcano formed atop an east-west rift in the oceanic crust along the African plate, beginning during the Miocene epoch over 5 million years ago, continuing into the Pleistocene until about 700,000 years ago. This was followed by extensive erosion, producing two large amphitheaters open to south in the central part of the island. 
Volcanic activity later resumed, producing scoria cones and lava flows atop the older eroded shield. The most recent volcanic eruptions were on the west central part of the island only 6,500 years ago, creating more cinder cones and lava flows. It is the largest island of the group with an area of 741 square kilometers, 286 square miles, a length of 57 kilometers, 35 miles from Ponte de São Lourenço to Ponte do Pargo, while approximately 22 kilometers, 14 miles at its widest point from Ponte da Cruz to Ponte São Jorge, with a coastline of 1 150 kilometers 90 miles It has a mountain ridge that extends along the center of the island reaching 1862 meters 6109 feet at its highest point Pico Ruvo while much lower below 200 meters along its eastern extent The primitive volcanic foci responsible for the central mountainous area consisted of the peaks Ruvo 1862 meters Torres 1851 meters Ariero 1818 meters Cedrao 1802 meters Cedro 1759 meters Casado 1725 meters Grande 1657 meters Ferrero 1582 meters at the end of this eruptive phase, an island circled by reefs was formed. Its marine vestiges are evident in a calcareous layer in the area of Lameros, in São Vicente, which was later explored for calcium oxide production. Sea cliffs, such as Cabo Girao, valleys and ravines extend from this central spine, making the interior generally inaccessible. Daily life is concentrated in the many villages at the mouths of the ravines, through which the heavy rains of autumn and winter usually travel to the sea. Topic. Climate Madeira has been classified as a Mediterranean climate, Köppen climate classification, CSA, CSB. Based on differences in sun exposure, humidity, and annual mean temperature, there are clear variations between north and south facing regions, as well as between some islands. The islands are strongly influenced by the Gulf Stream and Canary Current, giving mild year round temperatures. According to the Instituto de Meteorologia, IM, the average annual temperature at Funchal Weather Station is 19.6 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit for the 1980 2010 period. Porto Santo has at least one weather station with a semi arid climate. BSH. On the highest windward slopes of Madeira, rainfall exceeds 1,250 mm 50 inches per year, mostly falling between October and April. In most winters snowfall occurs in the mountains of Madeira. <laughs> Flora and fauna In the south, there is very little left of the indigenous subtropical rainforest which once covered the whole island the original settlers set fire to the island to clear the land for farming and gave it the name it now bears Madeira means wood in Portuguese. However, in the north, the valleys contain native trees of fine growth. These Silva. Forests, called Lauricias Madeirense, notably the forests on the northern slopes of Madeira Island, are designated as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The Paleobotanical Record of Madeira reveals that Lauricilva Forest has existed in this island for at least 1.8 million years. Critically endangered species such as the vine Jasminum azoricum and the Rowan Sorbus madeirensis are endemic to Madeira. Native flora gallery Topic <inaudible> Native birds gallery Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Madarin wall lizard The Madarin wall lizard Lacerta dugesi is a species of lizard in the Lacertidae family the species is endemic to the island where it is very common, and is the only small lizard, ranging from sea coasts to altitudes of 1,850 meters 6, feet. It is usually found in rocky places or among scrub and may climb into trees. It is also found in gardens and on the walls of buildings. It feeds on small invertebrates such as ants and also eats some vegetable matter. The tail is easily shed and the stump regenerates slowly. 
The coloring is variable and tends to match the color of the animal's surroundings, being some shade of brown or gray with occasionally a greenish tinge. Most animals are finely flecked with darker markings. The underparts are white or cream, sometimes with dark spots, with some males having orange or red underparts and blue throats, but these bright colors may fade if the animal is disturbed. The Madarin wall lizard grows to a snout to vent length of about 8 cm with a tail about 1.7 times the length of its body. Females lay two to three clutches of eggs in a year with the juveniles being about 3 cm when they hatch. Levadas <laughs> 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 The island of Madeira is wet in the northwest, but dry in the southeast. In the 16th century the Portuguese started building levadas or aqueducts to carry water to the agricultural regions in the south. Madeira is very mountainous, and building the levadas was difficult and often convicts or slaves were used. Many are cut into the sides of mountains, and it was also necessary to dig 25 miles 40 kilometers of tunnels, some of which are still accessible. Today the Levadas not only supply water to the southern parts of the island, but provide hydroelectric power. There are over 1,350 miles 2 of Levadas and they provide a network of walking paths. Some provide easy and relaxing walks through the countryside, but others are narrow, crumbling ledges where a slip could result in serious injury or death. Two of the most popular levadas to hike are the Levada do Calderao Verde and the Levada do Calderao do Inferno, which should not be attempted by hikers prone to vertigo or without torches and helmets. The Levada do Canical is a much easier walk, running 7.1 miles kilometers from Marocos to the Canical Tunnel. It is known as the Mimosa Levada, because Mimosa trees, the colloquial name for invasive acacia, are found all along the route. Governance Administratively, Madeira with a population of 267,302 inhabitants in 2011 and covering an area of 768.0 square kilometers 296.5 square miles is organized into 11 municipalities. Funchal Funchal is the capital and principal city of the autonomous region of Madeira, located along the southern coast of the island of Madeira. It is a modern city, located within a natural geological amphitheater, composed of volcanological structure and fluvial hydrological forces. Beginning at the harbour, Porto de Funchal, the neighbourhoods and streets rise almost 1,200 metres 3, feet, along gentle slopes that helped to provide a natural shelter to the early settlers. Population Demographics The island was settled by Portuguese people, especially farmers from the Minho region, meaning that Madeirans Portuguese, Madeirenses, as they are called, are ethnically Portuguese, though they have developed their own distinct regional identity and cultural traits. The region has a total population of just under 270,000, the majority of whom live on the main island of Madeira where the population density is 337 per square kilometers. Meanwhile, only around 5,000 live on the Porto Santo island where the population density is 112 per square kilometers. About 247,000 96% of the population are Catholic and Funchal is the location of the Catholic Cathedral. Diaspora Madeirans migrated to the United States, Venezuela, Brazil, British Guiana, St. Vincent and Trinidad. Madeiran immigrants in North America mostly clustered in the New England and Mid-Atlantic states, Toronto, Northern California, and Hawaii. The city of New Bedford is especially rich in Madeirans, hosting the Museum of Madeira Heritage, as well as the annual Madeiran and Luso-American celebration, the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament, the world's largest celebration of Madeiran heritage, regularly drawing crowds of tens of thousands to the city's Madeira field. 
In 1846, when a famine struck Madeira over 6,000 of the inhabitants migrated to British Guiana. In 1891 they numbered 4.3% of the population. In 1902 in Honolulu, Hawaii there were 5,000 Portuguese people, mostly Madeirans. In 1910 this grew to 21,000.1849 saw an emigration of Protestant religious exiles from Madeira to the United States, by way of Trinidad and other locations in the West Indies. Most of them settled in Illinois with financial and physical aid of the American Protestant Society, headquartered in New York City. In the late 1830s the Reverend Robert Reed Calley, from Scotland, a Presbyterian minister as well as a physician, made a stop at Funchal, Madeira on his way to a mission in China, with his wife, so that she could recover from an illness. The Reverend Calley and his wife stayed on Madeira where he began preaching the Protestant gospel and converting islanders from Catholicism. Eventually, the Rev. Cali was arrested for his religious conversion activities and imprisoned. Another missionary from Scotland, William Hepburn Hewitson, took on Protestant ministerial activities in Madeira. By 1846, about 1,000 Protestant Madeirenses, who were discriminated against and the subjects of mob violence because of their religious conversions, chose to immigrate to Trinidad and other locations in the West Indies in answer for a call for sugar plantation workers. The Madeirenses' exiles did not fare well in the West Indies. The tropical climate was unfamiliar and they found themselves in serious economic difficulties. By 1848, the American Protestant Society raised money and sent the Rev. Manuel J. Gonsalves, a Baptist minister and a naturalized U.S. citizen from Madeira, to work with the Rev. Arsenio da Silva, who had emigrated with the exiles from Madeira, to arrange to resettle those who wanted to come to the United States. The Rev. Da Silva died in early 1849. Later in 1849, the Rev. Gonsalves was then charged with escorting the exiles from Trinidad to be settled in Sangamon and Morgan counties in Illinois on land purchased with funds raised by the American Protestant Society. Accounts state that anywhere from 700 to 1,000 exiles came to the United States at this time. There are several large Madeiran communities around the world, such as the number in the UK, including Jersey. The Portuguese British community, mostly made up of Madeirans, celebrate Madeira Day. Immigration Madeira is part of the Schengen area. The Venezuelan 14.4%, British 14.2%, Brazilian 12.1% and German 7.0% nationalities constituted the largest foreign communities residing in the autonomous region of Madeira in 2017. The Venezuelan community showed a sharp increase 38.0%. In terms of geographical distribution, it is in Funchal that the foreign population mainly concentrates 59.2% of the total of the region, followed by Santa Cruz 13.8%, Calheta 7.3% and Porto Santo 4.0%. The foreign population with resident status in the autonomous region of Madeira totaled 6720 up by 10.0% from 2016 distributed between residence permits 6692 and long stay visas 28 Topic <inaudible> Economy <inaudible> 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 Free trade zone and public administration The setting up of a free trade zone has led to the installation, under more favorable conditions, of infrastructure, production shops and essential services for small and medium-sized industrial enterprises. The International Business Center of Madeira comprises presently three sectors of investment, the Industrial Free Trade Zone, the International Shipping Register, MAR and the International Services. Madeira's tax regime has been approved by the European Commission as legal state aid and its deadline has recently been extended by the EC until the end of 2027. The International Business Centre of Madeira, also known as Madeira Free Trade Zone, was created formally in the 1980s as a tool of regional economic policy. It consists of a set of incentives, mainly of a tax nature, granted with the objective of attracting inward investment into Madeira, recognized as the most efficient mechanism to modernize, diversify and internationalize the regional economy. The decision to create the International Business Center of Madeira was the result of a thorough process of analysis and study. 
Other small island economies, with similar geographical and economic restraints, had successfully implemented projects of attraction of foreign direct investment based on international services activities, becoming therefore examples of successful economic policies. Since the beginning, favorable operational and fiscal conditions have been offered in the context of a preferential tax regime, fully recognized and approved by the European Commission in the framework of state aid for regional purposes and under the terms of the ultra-peripheral regions set in the treaties, namely Article 299 of the Treaty on European Union. The IBC of Madeira has therefore been fully integrated in the Portuguese and EU legal systems and, as a consequence, it is regulated and supervised by the competent Portuguese and EU authorities in a transparent and stable business environment, marking a clear difference from the so-called tax havens and offshore jurisdictions since its inception. In 2015, the European Commission authorized the new state aid regime for new companies incorporated between 2015 and 2020 and the extension of the deadline of the tax reductions until the end of 2027. The present tax regime is outlined in Article 36 degrees A of the Portuguese Tax Incentives Statute. Available data clearly demonstrates the contribution that this development program has brought to the local economy over its 20 years of existence, impact in the local labor market, through the creation of qualified jobs for the young population but also for Madeiran professionals who have returned to Madeira thanks to the opportunities now created, an increase in productivity due to the transfer of know-how and the implementation of new business practices and technologies, indirect influence on other sectors of activity, business tourism benefits from the visit of investors and their clients and suppliers, and other sectors such as real estate, telecommunications and other services benefit from the growth of their client base, impact on direct sources of revenue. The companies attracted by the IBC of Madeira represent over 40% of the revenue in terms of corporate income tax for the government of Madeira and nearly 3.000 jobs, most of which qualified, amongst other benefits. Also there are above average salaries paid by the companies in the IBC of Madeira in comparison with the wages paid in the other sectors of activity in Madeira. Madeira has been a significant recipient of European Union funding, totaling up to 2 billion euros. In 2012, it was reported that despite a population of just 250,000, the local administration owes some 6 billion euros. Furthermore, the Portuguese Treasury IGCP assumed Madeira's debt management between 2012 and 2015. The region continues to work with the central government on a long-term plan to reduce its debt levels and commercial debt stock. Moody's notes that the region has made significant fiscal consolidation efforts and that its tax revenue collection has increased significantly in recent years due to tax rate hikes. Madeira's tax revenues increased by 41% between 2012 and 2016, helping the region to reduce its deficit to operating revenue ratio to 10% in 2016 from 77% in 2013. Tourism Tourism is an important sector in the region's economy, contributing 20% to the region's GDP, providing support throughout the year for commercial, transport and other activities and constituting a significant market for local products. The share in gross value added of hotels and restaurants also highlights this phenomenon. The island of Porto Santo, with its 9 km miles long beach and its climate, is entirely devoted to tourism. Visitors are mainly from the European Union, with German, British, Scandinavian and Portuguese tourists providing the main contingents. The average annual occupancy rate was 60.3% in 2008, reaching its maximum in March and April, when it exceeds 70%. <laughs> <laughs> Whale watching Whale watching has become very popular in recent years. Many species of dolphins, such as common dolphin, spotted dolphin, striped dolphin, bottlenose dolphin, short-finned pilot whale, and whales such as bride's whale, say whale, fin whale, sperm whale, beaked whales can be spotted near the coast or offshore. <inaudible> <inaudible> Renewable energy 
Electricity on Madeira is provided solely through EEM Impresa de Electricidad da Madeira, SA, which holds a monopoly for the provision of electrical supply on the autonomous region and consists largely of fossil fuels, but with a significant supply of seasonal hydroelectricity from the Levada system, wind power and a small amount of solar. In 2011, renewable energy formed 26.5% of the electricity used in Madeira. Transport The islands have two airports, Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport and Porto Santo Airport, on the islands of Madeira and Porto Santo respectively. From Cristiano Ronaldo International Airport the most frequent flights are to Lisbon. There are also direct flights to over 30 other airports in Europe and nearby islands. Transport between the two main islands is by plane, or ferries from the Porto Santo line, the latter also carrying vehicles. Visiting the interior of the islands is now easy thanks to construction of the Vias Rapidas, major roads that cross the island. Modern roads reach all points of interest on the islands. Funchal has an extensive public transportation system. Bus companies, including Horarios do Funchal which has been operating for over a hundred years, have regularly scheduled routes to all points of interest on the island. Culture Music <culture> 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 Folklore music in Madeira is widespread and mainly uses local musical instruments such as the machete, rajao, brinquinho and cavaquinho, which are used in traditional folkloric dances like the bailinho da Madeira. Emigrants from Madeira also influenced the creation of new musical instruments. In the 1880s, the ukulele was created, based on two small guitar-like instruments of Madeiran origin, the cavaquinho and the rajao. The ukulele was introduced to the Hawaiian Islands by Portuguese immigrants from Madeira and Cape Verde. Three immigrants in particular, Madeiran cabinet makers Manuel Nunes, José do Espírito Santo, and Augusto Dias, are generally credited as the first ukulele makers. Two weeks after they disembarked from the SS Ravenscrag in late August 1879, the Hawaiian Gazette reported that Madeira Islanders recently arrived here, have been delighting the people with nightly street concerts. Cuisine Because of the geographic situation of Madeira in the Atlantic Ocean, the island has an abundance of fish of various kinds. The species that are consumed the most are espada black scabbardfish, blue fin tuna, white marlin, blue marlin, albacore, big eye tuna, wahoo, spearfish, skipjack tuna, and many others are found in the local dishes as they are found up and down the coast of Madeira. Espada is often served with banana. Bacalhau is also popular, as it is in Portugal. There are many meat dishes on Madeira, one of the most popular being espatada. Espatada is traditionally made of large chunks of beef rubbed in garlic, salt and bay leaf and marinated for four to six hours in Madeira wine, red wine vinegar and olive oil then skewered onto a bay laurel stick and left to grill over smoldering wood chips. These are so integral a part of traditional eating habits that a special iron stand is available with a T-shaped end, each branch of the T having a slot in the middle to hold a brochette espeto in Portuguese, a small plate is then placed underneath to collect the juices. The brochettes are very long and have a V-shaped blade in order to pierce the meat more easily. It is usually accompanied with the local bread called bolo do caco. Other popular dishes in Madeira include acorda, feijoada, carne de vina de los. Traditional pastries in Madeira usually contain local ingredients, one of the most common being mel de cana, literally, sugarcane honey, molasses. The traditional cake of Madeira is called bolo de mel, which translates as sugarcane, honey cake, and according to custom, is never cut with a knife, but broken into pieces by hand. It is a rich and heavy cake. The cake commonly well known as Madeira cake in England also finds its naming roots in the island of Madeira. Malasadas are a Madeiran creation which were taken around the world by emigrants to places such as Hawaii. In Madeira, malasadas are mainly consumed during the carnival of Madeira. Pasteas de nata, as in the rest of Portugal, are also very popular. Milha frito is a very popular dish in Madeira which is very similar to the Italian dish polenta. 
Acorda madeirense is another popular local dish. Topic: <inaudible> Beverages. <inaudible> Madeira is a fortified wine produced in the Madeira Islands. Varieties may be sweet or dry. It has a history dating back to the age of exploration when Madeira was a standard port of call for ships heading to the New World or East Indies. To prevent the wine from spoiling, neutral grape spirits were added. However, wine producers of Madeira discovered, when an unsold shipment of wine returned to the islands after a round trip, that the flavor of the wine had been transformed by exposure to heat and movement. Today, Madeira is noted for its unique winemaking process which involves heating the wine and deliberately exposing the wine to some levels of oxidation. Most countries limit the use of the term Madeira to those wines that come from the Madeira Islands, to which the European Union grants protected designation of origin PDO status. A local beer called Coral is produced by the Madeira Brewery, which dates from 1872. It has achieved two Mon Selection Grand Gold Medals, 24 Mon Selection Gold Medals and two Mon Selection Silver Medals. Other alcoholic drinks are also popular in Madeira, such as the locally created Pancha, Nikita, Pé de Cabra, Anas, as well as Portuguese drinks such as Maciera Brandy, Licor Barão. Laranjada is a type of carbonated soft drink with an orange flavor, its name being derived from the Portuguese word laranja orange. Launched in 1872 it was the first soft drink to be produced in Portugal, and remains very popular to the present day. Brisa drinks, a brand name, are also very popular and come in a range of flavors. There is also a huge coffee culture in Madeira. Like in mainland Portugal, popular coffee-based drinks include garoto, galao, bica, café com chirinho, mazagran, chinesa and many more. <laughs> Sports Sister provinces Madeira Island has the following sister provinces Italy, Autonomous Region of Aosta Valley 1987. Jersey, Bailiwick of Jersey 1998. South Africa, Eastern Cape Province South Korea, Jeju Province 2007. Gibraltar, Gibraltar 2009. Topic. Postage stamps Portugal has issued postage stamps for Madeira during several periods, beginning in 1868. Notable people The following people were either born or have lived part of their lives in Madeira. Charles I of Austria, last Emperor of Austria and last King of Hungary deposed monarch, died in exile on Madeira in 1922 Joe Berardo, Portuguese millionaire, an art collector Rubina Berardo, Portuguese politician Antonio de Abreu, naval officer and navigator Nadia Almada, a winner of the British reality show Big Brother Manasseh ben Israel, Jewish rabbi Catarina Fagundes, Olympic athlete for windsurf Vanya Fernandes, Portuguese singer who represented Portugal in Eurovision 2008 José Vicente de Freitas, military general and politician Vasco da Gama Rodrigues, poet, born in Paul du Mar Teodosio Clemente de Gouveia, cardinal of the Roman Catholic Church George Walter Grabham, geologist Herberto Elder, poet Moises Enriquez, former Australian under-19 captain and current NSW Blues and Australian International 2020 cricketer Alberto Joao Jardim, second president of the regional government Luis Jardim, producer of music Paul Langerhans, German pathologist and biologist Fatima Lopez, fashion designer Jamie Ornelas Camacho, first and former president of the regional government Aries de Ornelas e Vasconcelos, former Archbishop of the former Portuguese colonial enclave Goa in India Lloyd Matthews, British naval officer, politician and abolitionist Denicio Pastana, president of the Pastana Group Rigo 23, artist Joao Rodriguez, Olympic windsurfer 
Cristiano Ronaldo, Juventus FC. Portugal and former Sporting, Manchester United and Real Madrid footballer John Santos, photographer Ana da Silva, founding member of post-punk band The Raincoats Pedro Macedo Camacho, composer Flavia Brito, Miss Universo Portugal 2016, beauty pageant Manuel Dias Soeiro or Manasseh ben Israel 1604-1657, Sephardi rabbi and publisher Artur de Souza Pinga, former CS Maritimo and FC Porto football player Maximiano de Souza Max, popular singer, born in Funchal Virgilio Teixeira, actor José Travassos Valdez, first Count of Bonfim, governor during 1827-1828 Miguel Albuquerque, third and current president of the regional government Bernardo Souza, rally driver in the WRC José Tolentino Mendonca, priest, theologian, poet, archbishop, archivist and librarian of the Holy Roman Church. See also Have some Madeira Madeira List of birds of Madeira Madeira Islands Open, an annual European Tour golf tournament Surfing in Madeira Ribeiro Frio, a village on the island of Madeira.